Hey, it's great to see you back. When we last left off, on November 18th, Cyrax was playing Hogwarts Legacy. But I think that's enough for an intro, don't you? Then, Gordon and Jenny would do their first live stream on the Real Wilkins Family channel with a stream called Fireside Chat with Papa G and Jenny, where they gave some shoutouts, had some boomer tech issues, and told the community how nice we all are. Hi, guys. Hey! Good evening, Rex Nation! What's happening, y'all? Good evening. Seeing all these comments is a great, great thing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We want to thank everybody, man, for all the support, all the, man, the love everybody's put out to us. us, And uh, it's just... uh, it's, very overwhelming. Yeah. Very it's, overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. But so, we definitely want to say thank you. and uh, We're humbled. Very humbled. <laughs> very humbled. But especially to Marty, CVG, Styled Moth, Kate, Kate uh, Southern Harlot. Uh, oh, all of you guys. You guys yeah, put out if some I miss somebody, content. Shaman. If we missed anybody, Yeah, Bay Shaman. You can't forget yeah. about Bay Shaman. How do you yeah. forget about Bay Shaman? I don't know. I can't. I, can't. Oh, I love me some Bay but, uh, Shaman. So, hey, we're just here, man. I know everybody's got a lot of questions and a lot of answers, and I'm not going to play any films of Cyrex or anything right now. So, you know, it. hey, you got a question or whatever, man, throw it up on the, in the comments, man. Like, subscribe, which, man, everybody, man, we're overwhelmed with the subscriptions, man. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah. It's much love, man. Big time. <laughs> thank Big you. Time. Thank you. Three weeks ago, we were just normal people living very normal, quiet lives. Very and, mundane life. And, Didn't ask and for enjoying this. it. And yeah. enjoying it. Didn't ask for this at all, but certain peckerhead man stepped up and yeah. wanted to draw first blood and fire first. So, you know, you know that gator. Once that <laughs> came gator. Out, get your hummingbird ass, ass in, in trouble, trouble man. all day, every day. Yeah, all day, every day. But um, before we go into anything about Cyrex or whatever, um, can you guys hear us now? I just seen a comment. I want to make sure you guys can hear us. Okay. Hopefully you can. Hopefully you can now. Um, the microphone's on. And again, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Rax Nation. <laughs> Good evening, Rax Nation. Wow. First off, Rax. Well, wait a minute. We, we, I don't think anybody heard us. Y'all can hear us now. Great. Thank yeah. you. Okay. We want to go ahead and sincerely thank Marty, Kate, Styled Moth, um, CBG, but our microphone wasn't on. Baby. Okay. I come All up right. with the technology, My sweetheart. My bad. Um, <laughs> we want to cover everybody. Bay yeah. Shaman, who doesn't love we, Bay uh, Shaman. Like again, man, big we're big fan, big fan. You know, I'm humbled to uh to take this journey. Well, even to even to step into this route or yeah. thrown into this route, I should say. Yeah. And it's crazy. Be talked with or talked about with the greats, man. So Yeah, no know, doubt, no doubt. It, and um, I, I mean we've met some wonderful people from all over the world. Yes. And it just gets better every time I talk to somebody because you guys have nothing but love for each other and nothing but hate for this little bastard. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You know, whatever brings you together, whether it be drinking, smoking, whatever yeah, does I mean, it, you yeah, know, hey, you know, but people, you, get, you people are awesome. Yeah. We started down this rabbit hole. Oh God, three weeks ago. Yeah. And it's been, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, trying to fathom this. You know, that, that somebody can be this, oh, uh, whatever, man. Demise. Yeah, warped, whatever y'all want to call it, man. Yeah, but uh, Step from the floor up. Yeah, you know, but it, he attacked me first, man. He threw out, you know, slanders because since 2014, he ain't even thought about his little ass no. so three weeks ago. No. Gordon told Cyrax that he wasn't scared of him because two years ago, Gordon was diagnosed with cancer and survived and then predicted the future, telling Cyrax not to make a pity stream about it after what he said. You don't scare me, little man. And you know why? Because 20 months ago, man, I started looking at the Reaper in the face. Yeah, 20 months ago, man, I was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. And I'm still f***ing here, and they didn't tell me I was going to leave the hospital. So don't sit there and, man, give your little f***ing sob stories about how you were born and all that bullshit. No, you okay uh, uh, no 
And uh, you know what? I'm kicking ass and I'm taking names and I'm killing it. So uh, I'm coming to Akron, little man. I am coming to Akron. I've got reasons to come to Akron and it's not you. Okay. It's not you. Don't humble yourself to think <laughs> that I would make a special trip to Akron for you because you ain't worth that kind of time, little man. So I'm just, I'm just, I just want you to sit there and think on that. And don't you even get up on a live stream, man, and start doing your fucking boo hoo, crying ass boo. Woe is me, my ex stepdad. Oh my God. Now he's got cancer and he's dying. Mother, you told me the other night you wished I'd die. Well, guess what? I'm not because they tell me that laughter doeth good like medicine. Well, little man, you're my medicine <laughs> because I have laughed more than a three. Yeah week so i ain't never gonna die you hear me and you better hope i don't because when i do we've already made a pact these two right here that after i'm gone she's gonna continue to fight and when and guess what you better be scared of that because i'm the only i'm the only person right now holding the reins back on her so if i'm gone man you are Oh. Up a creek without a paddle, little man. That's not looking too good yeah. for him. Yeah, you were up shit creek. So yeah. I'm just going to leave that out there, man. And uh, hey, question time, y'all. I'm done. That's my soapbox for right now. Jenny would tell us how they even found out about the Cyrax situation and why they actually got involved. I don't give a f about my 15 minutes of fame. No. Okay. Uh, that's not the reason There's I'm doing no this. The reason I'm doing this that. is one is to twist this little bastard. Yeah. And the other is to bring note to every sexual deviant out there. And Raxon, don't make yourself think that, you, that you're as important that, you know. Yeah, don't, you, don't flatter that, yourself you know, too much. Yeah, don't flatter yourself that no. you're that important. No, you're not the only one on our radar, man. It just happens you be a lot closer than yeah. the rest of them. That's all. And somebody did ask, how did we get involved in this? Well, um, I've been doing this for a lot of years. I've been chasing down pedophiles and yes. yeah. a lot of years. Um, well, you 30. explain it. I'll be right back. Um, however, I, I happen to be doing a background check. And I, for some reason, just out of curiosity, not curiosity, because I wasn't curious about him. I had just punched in Wilkins and ran a total Wilkins background check and his name came up and that's how we found out. Um, and it was more, you, you gotta be kidding me. Please be serious. You know, this is not, and that's how we got exposed to it. I'm sorry. No, I'm good. Thank you though. Okay. It's fireside chats. I don't So that's how we got into this. And um, once we grabbed a hold of his story and started digging into it, I have no no dog in this fight, truly, because I don't give it either way with him. Um, I, I prefer to see him off the street. I prefer to see him looked at on a 24-hour or watch. basis or watch. Watch very closely. Um, I, I have no regard for him. So anything he has to say about me, and believe me, I've heard all the comments. Oh, I've yeah. watched all the streams. And, you know, it takes a very classless man to call a woman anything other than a woman. So, you know, rave oh, yeah. on. Yeah. Rave the f*** yeah. on. You know what? You and, know, and it's just more entertainment for me. I have no desires to whip your ass. I have no desires to. But I tell you what. You are gonna get punched in the fucking mouth one time. Yeah, one time. You got one coming for and that. That's buddy. calling my wife the c word. Okay, you know what? You you got to be so fucking low to stoop to talk to any woman like that, man. Yeah. And use the c word. Yeah. That is just pathetic. It was I'm pathetic. Talking fucking pathetic. It wasn't man. even shocking. Well, no, no, because no, anything shocking. comes out of his mouth, I'm not surprised. No. He can't. No. He can't shock me. No. I mean, he thinks he's a no. shock jock or some shit. I mean, he can't be. Okay, roll him up, Harley. Roll, roll him up, boo. Um, it wasn't. <laughs> it, it wasn't that it was shocking. It was more. I mean, God knows those pictures we saw were shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's shocking. Yeah. Yeah. That was truly shocking. But yeah. Then Cyrax would go live, and the Wilkins family asked the audience to go and say hello for them. Also, we're going to cover that stream after this one. Oh, hell, Venomous. <laughs> Somebody said that uh, 
he's on kick right now. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, somebody, yeah. please tell me. Oh, laugh. yeah. Somebody, man, get it and download yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely need that. Yeah, absolutely. Because he's going to, you know, I'm surprised he has the same uh, every, Man, everybody, everybody quit saying sorry, man. Sorry. No, don't be sorry, man. Then the Wilkins family would end off their first stream. You know, I don't know. I have no, no freaking clue. I mean, yeah. I've got my guesses, you know. I mean, all of us can speculate, you know, what's going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know, man. We ought, you know what? We ought to do a, uh, hmm. it's like a lottery, man. You know, yeah. let's let's figure out. You know, you put you put in your put in your bid, man. You know, yeah. let's throw everybody throw a buck in the kitty, man, and then whoever, yeah. and, you know, if, and that'll you know, be the first donation. Yeah, if fifty people or whatever get the right answer. They they split whatever the pot yeah. is between but the fifty. God bless it. We could be here for years. Well, yeah, we could be. Yeah. I don't know, man. That'd be a good poll, man. Well, we'll have to learn how to put a poll I, up on here. Honey, I, I, mean, I know, you know how to do that. I know. That. Well, I mean, bless your heart. I know. Once again, I know. So it's a good you thing know. you're cute. I know. Because <laughs> you ain't got a lick of scent sometimes, son. Got a lick of scent. Uh, Are you I ready know. to turn the fire uh, out? Didn't bring a freak. Hold on a minute. Did he give any off any gay vibes as a child? No, no, no. Oh yeah, another one was trust when I say. Somebody just pointed yeah, it out. Yeah, trust is when I say. say. Yeah, trust when I say. Yeah. <laughs> all all these questions are perfect questions. And <laughs> TV's Dave told you we could we really could have used your parenting style on my famous television show in the nineties. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> um it, yeah. it's been so much fun hanging out with you yeah, guys. Yeah, it was, man. You know, so much man, fun. much love to y'all, man. Thank you for the uh love, the, the support. The support and uh Raxter, you know what? I, I I don't like bragging, but you know, dude, I put up a page. Well, we put up a page. Uh had no zero content, man. Zero content. I think all we had was a playlist. Uh, and two videos from uh, I think two videos. Eighty right set, one is the eighty second air. Well, both of them are eighty second airborne uh, videos. Yeah, whatever. But nothing there. Nothing. Nothing. Of nothing of content. Nothing and when we say, opened hey, this, hey, look at me. when we opened this live stream, my man, we had uh, there was one thousand one hundred fifty seven subscribers. Something like that. Yep. Yeah, almost twelve hundred subscribers. Yeah. And uh, we had 243 people watching this tonight, man. So, you yeah. know, uh, y'all have a great night. And uh, Oh, what? the other thing we were going to mention is his merchandise. This is an interesting thought. Oh, his merch. If you're paying attention and you can prove <laughs> that yeah. you have sold over $50 in the last six months. If you can prove it, you dumbass. Yeah, you gotta prove it though. You gotta me. prove it. Yeah, I'll send you. And I ain't $50. taking nobody else. I ain't. I ain't taking nobody else's word, man. No, gotta prove it. Yeah. Or I will send out ten boxes of autographed fucking pizza pockets, top pockets, or whatever. hot pockets. Hot pockets. Yeah. I'll I'll personally autograph them and mail I'll, them and mail them to out. anybody <laughs> randomly. <laughs> So I, I really need to know if, you, you know, let's not lie about the merchandise. My God, don't you have an end? But um, it was nice talking to you guys. Yeah. Y'all have a, have a great night. Everybody be safe mm -hmm. and uh, take care of one another. Man. We love you guys. Good night. Good night. I think it went well. Then Cyrex would go live with a stream called Trolling and Calling People Lol Cows Should Be a Crime, where Cyrax shows that he's not very pro First Amendment despite his colorful vocabulary. Cyrax then showed all you up and coming streamers just how it's done, starting a stream and immediately leaving his room for like eight minutes. What's up, guys? So I'm here to speak on something that nobody else seems to have the f***ing balls to f***ing talk about because they're all f***ing chicken sh but before I do that I need to go handle some right quick because apparently there's knocking at the door so let me run down 
handle that right quick and your boy will be right back give me just one minute to run down check to see who the f**k's at the door and I'll be right back y'all who the f**k's at the door Once he got back, Cyrax gets into the real issues. Trolling needs to both be stopped and made illegal. But I'm seriously getting tired of this troll sh dude. I know what I find the reason why I say that it should be illegal, why trolling needs to be made illegal, is because of the fact of what it does to people. You know, what trolling does to people is beyond f***ed up. Cyrax then tells us a new job he can do, painting cars and welding, because apparently he learned how to do both in high school. When he wasn't looking. So I know that if I get a regular 9 to 5, like I said, I'm not against it. I'm not. I would love to be able to, at this point, I would love any kind of job, anything that I'm good at, to be able to, you know, do that for work. Anything I'm good at. Like, dude, I can do fucking welding. I can, you know, paint cars. Because if y'all don't know, I did take auto body shop when I was in high school. I learned how to paint, weld, fabricate, sand, all that. Like, anything like that or anything to do with computers, like, you know, building websites on Wix, or, you know, doing sound design, or, you know, creating simple VST plugins that are super simple but so powerful to use. Like, I would love to do that for work. I would love to work for somebody doing any of that. But like I said, the problem is, the trolls would call up there until I got fired. Or spread rumors so badly that that person actually ended up firing me. Which is why it's very, very hard for me to get a job. It's very, very hard. Which sucks. And yo, I was actually thinking about that, dude. Like, just recently, a buddy of mine uh, saw... Some of the stuff I was that I'm able to do currently, and he was like, "Dude, like, you'd be really good at learning this," because he saw how quickly I pick up on learning things that I actually can use and actually enjoy. But I have I have thought about that actually, dude. Like, no joke, I have thought about that. Cyrax acts like Nintendo, being from Japan, isn't already known by like 90% of the population, and boils it down to Nintendo, Pokemon, and anime, and then says that as opposed to them, we have PC, Xbox, and Microsoft. And I know what y'all are thinking, dude, do you actually play Japanese Super Nintendo games? F yeah, dude. Where do you think Super Nintendo orig originated from, dude? Where do you think Nintendo originated from? Fucking Japan. That's where N64, Super Nintendo, and basically everything to do with Nintendo was born there. Anything to do with anime, Pokemon, Nintendo, that's all Japan stuff. Not saying I hate it though, I fucking love Japan, would love to fucking visit, I would seriously love to visit, but... <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Japan invented all the fun sh They invented all the good fun sh 
I mean, what do we have? I mean, granted, yeah, we have Xbox. Don't get me wrong. We have Xbox. We have shit like that. Don't get me wrong. We have Xbox. We have PC. We have Microsoft. But, dude, come on. Japan literally has the best shit. Literally, like, the, all the fun shit and all the shit that we use tech-wise, Japan's light years ahead of us. Why are we not caught up with them? What do they have that we don't? Oh, wait, I know. They have the smart people. After some of the worst piano that I've ever heard, Cyrax also told us that he can't dance anymore because of his legs. Unfortunately, dude, with the way my legs are, I'm not able to do it like I used to, so sadly, I kind of have to be. I don't want to be, but because of the way my legs are and how I'm getting older, I'm not able to, you know, do it like I used to. As much as I would love to, I sadly can't. And I know what you guys are going to say. I already, I'm already reading your guys' minds for this. Cyrax then ended the stream one of the worst ways he can, e-begging. And I will see you guys definitely here around, I'd say like 8 or 9 o'clock, maybe 10, because I got to pass out for the night. I still have not slept because I've been just working on sh and hanging out with you crazy motherfuckers all night. So I'm going to pass out, man. I fucking love you guys. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Um, again, oh, and on a side note, I do want to mention this. If you guys do want to donate, please do not hit request. Hit send. Because I get, and I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I get too many people sending me requests for money instead of actually sending me the money like they want to do. So if you guys do want to donate, be sure to hit send, not request please because i've got literally about a hundred freaking things of requests from people that have tried to send me money but it like they tried to send me money but instead it turned out to be requests but uh like i said man i love you guys i will see you guys in the morning man i'm about to pass out for the night i love y'all man i'm out of here y'all hopefully you guys have a good rest of your night Evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are at, man. Wherever y'all are at in the world, man. I will catch you guys in the morning, dude. But uh, with that being said, man, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the morning, man. Much love to you guys. And again, man, I appreciate every single one of y'all that have actually stuck by and helped out, man. I fucking love you guys. And I'll see y'all in the morning, man. Much love. Stay humble, stay positive, keep being yourself. I love you guys, man. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. It didn't take long for Cyrax to do another stream. This one called My Very Real Daily Life and How I Really F***ing Feel on November 9th. Guys, I got something to say, and I'm not gonna distract from it. But then what I'm about to say, it needs to be fucking said. Everybody's always asking me, you know, how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, what's going on, and. I'll admit, sometimes I'm doing okay. Sometimes. But honestly, man, a majority of the time, I'm not okay. A majority of the time, about 99% of the time, I'm not okay.
For the past five years, I have been f***ing depressed. Living with PTSD. Having two suicide attempts that thankfully I did not succeed at. All because of the sh** that I've been through. You know, a lot of people say, hey, forget about your dad. He's nothing. And you're right, he is. But honestly, y'all don't know how f***ing bad that sh** hurt when he f***ing disowned me like that. Y'all have no idea how bad that f***ing hurt. And not only that, but the friends I've lost because of these people, the jobs I've lost, the family that's disowned me, the family that I've had to disown. I've watched friends lose jobs. I've watched family members lose jobs. I've lost God knows how many fucking jobs. Like, I know on screen that I seem like I'm okay, like, you know, when the cameras are on and I'm hanging out with you guys, I seem okay. And for that little bit of time, I am. But behind the scenes, like, if I'm not working on something, which I barely am doing right now, I'm usually f***ing sleeping because I'm f***ing depressed all goddamn day. Because these stupid motherfuckers want to sit there and make a name for themselves off of me. Ruin my name, my image, my reputation. Make things harder for me than they already are. Hey, dude, I can't even release any fucking goddamn music without them stealing it. I can't go outside and go for walks and hang out with my friends. Or go to the movies. Or do anything with my family without being f***ing followed every five seconds. Cyrax then tells us what it was like to read off Gordon and Jenny's YouTube channel. And you know what's sad? Last night, and you guys are going to cringe when you hear this. But last night I was browsing around on YouTube looking for something to watch. I came across my now former dad's YouTube channel. Alright, one video up. whoop de doo I go to fucking look at the About Me section. Let me read off the About Me section. Welcome to the Real Wilkins Family Channel, where we invite you to take a walk through the life of Cyrax, and then he put my birth name, which is not my name, with us. He is a cartoon character that we all don't understand, but we will explore the untalented, foul, demented, and disgusting ways of this little man. So what? So tighten your rainbow suspenders and hang on. Who just puts that in their sh Who just puts that in their f***ing stuff? That right there shows exactly what they think of me. To them, I'm not human. To them, I'm just some sort of cartoon character for them to laugh at. 
That's literally all these people think of me. They see me as something to laugh at. Like I'm not a normal human being. Like I don't have feelings. Like I don't have good days or bad days. I'm just like any other regular person. I bleed red just like everybody else. Hey, Dave's Ninja. Why don't you do yourself a favor and tell your fake friends to suck it? Because here's the thing, you douchebag motherfucker. If you look at my sh what y'all say about me don't fucking match my actions. They don't. 45 minutes into that stream, Ed called Cyrax downstairs. Hang on, guys. One second. Hang on! Hang on, guys. Be right back. Hang on. One now. What's up, guys? I'm back. Sorry, y'all. I had that little moment with something real quick. But we are good. Cyrax would actually get called down twice again, but since we never heard much, I'm going to skip them. Time number four was pretty good, though. Hold on, guys. Hold on! Be right back, guys. Give me just one second. Now, watch this. The day after he made like three streams in less than 30 hours since returning, he announces that he's retiring again. Also, Cyrax, there is a way out of this. Get off the internet. Hi, right, guys. I didn't want to end this off without doing something for you guys because I wanted to tell you guys this personally. And this is gonna be very, very hard for me to do, but I don't see any other way to put an end to this. But until the troll stuff ends, I'm not going to be live streaming or making any kind of videos anymore for a while. And I don't know how long that's going to be, but honestly, I don't see another way out. I really do not see another way out.
you know, like I said, for the last five years, I've been bullied, I've been harassed, I've been attacked. I've been pushed to the edge of suicide. I've attempted suicide twice. My reputation ruined. And like I said at the very beginning of this stream, I don't have a normal life. I really don't. I do not have a normal life, and I would like to get one back. I would like to have my normal life back, but I don't, I don't see how that's ever going to happen. Because I'll be honest, guys. I don't see another way to make this stop except to leave for a very long time. And I don't want to leave. I enjoy making content for you guys. I do. I enjoy it more than anything in the world, but I don't see a way out. I don't see a way to make this shit stop. I don't know of any other options I have, because like I said at the beginning of this video, Because of Marty, my life is basically ruined. I don't have a normal life. I haven't had for the last five years. And I would very much like to have my normal life back that I used to have before. Before I got famous for the things that I didn't want to get famous for. And like I said though, before I left, I wanted to give you guys one final show. Because I figured you guys deserve it, man. All you guys that have showed love and support for me this whole time since making this kick, you guys have been just so fucking awesome. And I genuinely appreciate the living out of every single one of you guys. I do. I appreciate you guys. But honestly, I don't see another way out. I really don't. I do not see another way out. And believe me, I wish there was another way out. I really do. I wish to God that there was a way out for me. I wish there was a way out that didn't end in me being attacked. Or me being shunned. But unfortunately there's not one. I, just, I don't know what else to do. I really don't know what else to do, guys. Like, I wish there was another way out. I really do. I wish to God that all of this would stop I really do I wish to God that all this would stop and my life could go back to normal
Cause y'all don't know how badly I want my normal life back. I know I might look like I have a normal life from the outside, but believe me when I say I don't have one. Now, I want you to tell me something. Does this look like a man holding back tears or fishing for pity? Like, y'all don't know how bad I'm fighting right now not to f***ing cry. You guys really have just no idea how hard I'm fighting right now to not f***ing cry. Because that's how bad I want my life back. That's how bad I want my life back that got stolen from me. Like, I wish you guys could understand and see just how bad my life is every day when I wake up. It's literally a struggle for me to get out of bed in the mornings. I literally have to fight just to get out of bed. I literally have to force myself to get out of bed. Because all I want to do is just lay in bed and cry. And sleep. And that's it. And I don't want to be like this. I was made to be this way. I didn't just wake up one day and decide to be angry. No, I was made this way over time. And I know people are probably going to repost this to YouTube or whatever. And at this point, I don't give a f if anybody posts it or not. I really don't give a f All I know is that I want my life back. The life that I was robbed of for the last five years. I genuinely want my f life back. And I just, I just don't know what to do anymore, guys. I don't see another way out other than to leave social media for a while. I really don't know what else to do. I mean, I would like to, you know, stay. I would like to make money. I would like to be able to provide for my family and my friends. But given the damage these people have done, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. I've literally been dehumanized, made out to be a monster. And I just, I don't know what else to do, man. I don't know what else to do. Because law enforcement won't help. The feds won't do anything. And I fear not only for my life, but for my family's lives as well. I fear for them on a daily basis. 
Because I don't know if someone's going to show up in my house or not. I really don't know. And like I said at the beginning of the stream, it fucking hurts me. And it kills me inside that my own fucking dad disowned me. Is he a piece of shit for it? Yes. But that doesn't take away the fucking pain of him disowning me. Because like I said, that pain that my dad put me through still fucking hurts. It really does. Like, you don't know how many times in the last few weeks I've thought about that. Cyrax would then say his goodbyes to all of his fans and ended the stream. I really don't know. If anybody needs me, I'll be on Facebook. Like I said, I'm not going to be live streaming for quite some time because there's no point in streaming right now if I'm not making money at it. I need to figure out a way to, you know, get my stuff set up to where people can start helping me and I need to figure out a bunch of stuff. But like I said, if anybody needs me, you guys have my Facebook, you guys have my email, you guys have me on Xbox, you guys can reach out to me anytime you want. I'm always going to be around. But I just want you guys to know that I do truly support me, that I genuinely 110% thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really do because it I know it I know that just saying it, you know, means something to you guys. But honestly, you guys have no idea how much your guys' support means to me. You genuinely have no idea how much it fucking means to me and my family that y'all support me and want to see me do better. Y'all have no idea how much that means to me and my family. Like, I can't even put it into words. To say how grateful I am to everybody that sees through the bullshit and sees me for who I am. And doesn't see me as what the rest of, the, of social media sees me as. But uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to go back and try to live. Keyword try. To live a normal life for a while. How long that'll last. For me being able to live a normal life. I don't know. But I have to try. I have to start somewhere. And again. If you guys would like to reach out to me. You guys do have me on Xbox. You guys do have me on Facebook, and you guys do have my email. Both that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys around. Well, there were some other people that would go live that night at around the same time Cyrex did. A couple that we all know and love, the Wilkins. Hey, good evening, Rax Nation. <laughs> What's How up? Is everybody? What's going on? What's How up? Is everybody? What's going on? What's How up? Is That's my phone back firing on me. Is it there we go. Oh, how y'all doing this evening? Yeah. Now, can you hear us? Yeah, I'm sure they can. I just want to make sure Maybe because it was coming through your phone. Anyway. Okay. Cool. Hey, man. All we got, man, to do is just throw love out to y'all, man. Oh, we, big time. Man, it has been... Big time. My God. Uh, I woke up this morning and started reading comments, and I have laughed so fucking hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> you 
doctors are crazy. Yeah. Uh, and, and we're going to share a glass of wine this evening yes, because um, yeah. the uh, Cheers. Channel, I'm drinking beer. She's drinking the channel did go over 2,000 subscribers. Um, and, and what that means know, to everybody else, I'm sure you understand it. It don't we mean don't. shit to me, really. It just so, means that we all have yeah. the same love and hatred yeah, for the same exactly. person. Exactly. We're, we're all in it for the same yeah, cause, absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, but cheers yeah. to you guys. Thank cheers you. to everybody. Hope everybody um, is having a fine, restful, peaceful, laughable evening. Yeah. You know? And if yeah. you're not, hang on, man. Maybe we can make you laugh a little we bit. We can definitely you know? bring some entertainment tonight. Uh, you know, we, we were shit, sitting here you know? and Gordon's favorite song yeah, on the radio. Yeah, to my favorite song, man. Just for a split second. You can tell what it is. When asked if Sally was a baddie back in the day, Gordon had a hard time answering. Oh. Just throwing that out there. So I, I, there's another message from okay. Very Cool. Okay. And this is his question. Okay. He wants, to Ask know, away. he wants to know if Sally was a baddie back in the day. Was a what? Baddie. A baddie? Yeah. I don't um, know what baddie means. Gonna, Somebody can tell me what baddie means. I'm gonna means, go with man. it. Probably means hot, badass. You know, uh, looker. Uh, I'm trying to break it down back into grandpa terms here. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know what the. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Las Vegas in, uh, entertainment capital world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that, man. Okay, so yeah, we just went to Vegas uh, to in February and then went again in April, March or April. So you're love not, Vegas. Vegas is badass. You're not yeah. off the hook with this question. Okay, go ahead. Ask the question again. Was she a baddie? I, just I don't as, know what baddie just means. assume it means uh, somebody good looking. Total smoke show. Um, yeah, just go with that. What good looking? Yeah. Okay. Well, she wasn't. She wasn't ugly, but she. I mean, she wasn't a knockout. She wasn't ugly. So she was you know homely. I mean? No, she wasn't homely. She was just normal. I mean, but what's you know, normal, man? Who knows? I mean, my my normal is different than your normal. Oh, that's that's there's truth to that. There's a <laughs> lot of truth to that. Seriously, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're killing me. You're killing me. So she wasn't ugly. She wasn't homely. She wasn't this. She wasn't that. You know. I, I'm I'm trying to address the mommy issues. I, I don't proud. I don't know, That's man. I I do. truly don't know. I don't know what you, what you were actually meaning by baddie. You know, I, I mean I don't know, man. Like I said, I think it was last night, man. She used to hunt fish, all that shit, man. Or was it was it B A T T Y? No, honey, B A D D I E. Oh, okay. I don't know. But if that's what you consider a baddie, then I guess she was. I thought it meant batty, batty. But, you know, that's no. crazy. Yeah, yeah. That, that started afterwards, I'm sure. Yeah, that, that's where I was at when he said it, and then I had to read it again. I, I, absolutely. I was, uh, uh, no, with Sally Bossy. Yeah, I read that one. No, out. not with me. No, no, hell no. Uh-uh. No, I did my thing, man. I, like I, I, I mean, I said it last night. I was a prick. I was. I was uh, self-centered. I was selfish. That's I was, why I posted that thing in Facebook yeah. the other day, you know? I, I, I may be a cactus, but I know a prick when I see one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I admit I was a prick. I'm not I denying it. I thought of you. I told you. I tell them people. I'm, an, I'm an open book, man. Was I a prick? Yeah. Did I have a kind heart? Yeah. Until you me over now, it's a prick. Bless your heart. Bless my heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> I'm That's a good old Baptist roots right uh, there. Another question that they had trouble answering was when asked if they had any positive memories of when Cyrax visited them back in 2014. Do we have any positive memories of Chance that we're comfortable sharing, if there are any? Say, read one more time. What was he that? wants to know if there was any positive memories of when Chance was here, if there are any. Here? Yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to have to like go get a refill uh, of wine and sit here. Wow. And think. Uh, this is going to take a minute. Uh, it's going to take a minute. Uh, Y'all go get a glass of wine. No, we'll be it here was, thinking it was, about it. No, there was a lot of annoyance, man, from Joe. Yeah. But positive. Well, I, I think, mm. I think everything was cool <laughs> until we got to the restaurant. And when we got to the restaurant, I knew what I was dealing with. So I hadn't seen him in fuck six, eight years. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. Right. What didn't follow him on Facebook, didn't give a fuck about Shadow Blade or Blade of the Shadow, whatever the fuck he was. I didn't care. Uh, so 
Yeah, we picked him up at the airport and we went to the restaurant, you know, and asked him, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You know, man, you love sea, you like seafood? Oh, man, I fucking love seafood. You like lobster? Oh, yeah, man, lobster's great. Lobster's great. You ever eat lobster? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We get to the fucking restaurant and he can't even clean the fucking lobster. And it's like, okay, so I'm, 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 I'm dealing with a bullshit artist, man. You know? Yeah. And yeah, if you I knew squeezed, I was and if you squeezed all the bullshit out of him, you wouldn't have his initials left. That, yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's when I knew, that's when I, then, then, out of the kindness of my heart, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but that didn't last long. And from there, it just went downhill, man. I mean, right. It went downhill. <laughs> I, I got to give a shout Quick. out. Quick. Right? Quick. I got to give a shout out to Outer Space 412. 412. He Do is I? in the house. Outer Space. Oh, yeah. He's from cool. the 412. Yeah. The Wilkins would then say goodbye and thanked everyone for coming to their stream. Well, just want to shout out to everybody out here, man. You know, yeah, thank definitely. You guys, man. Um, I mean, out to uh, Canvas, Trevor. Trevor. Um, uh, oh, God, man. It, William Glory Hall. Everybody. Uh, Kate, everybody, Marty, man. CDT, Mr. Sacco. Uh, Click Clack 43. Keep uh, making the videos. Keep making everybody Luna laugh. Moon. Yeah, make, you, know? you know, it's what it's all about, man. Yeah. I think. Anyway, Don't get all man. tied up it, in it's the just numbers. Our, because it's just our way of uh, but thanks again. It dealing did, with in life. It did go over. Yeah. 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, really. You know, Over 2,000 was... subscribers, man. I'm humbled. Yeah, very humbled. I'm humbled. Very humbled. <laughs> bless you And, and all, everybody man. took the poll, so I yeah, guess, bless I guess you're going to see us at least man. one more time until you say, you know what, y'all oh, yeah. have to yeah. hang it up. Yeah, even when people say, okay, man, you okay, this is stupid. Y'all right, need to go, right. You all need to go to bed, old folks. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get me a Wendy's Frosty and I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so everybody you guys have a beautiful restful uh rest of the tranquil week. night man rest of the evening or Thank wherever you. you're from man whatever part of the day it is i hope it's the best part of your day y'all have a great night good night guys good night the next day after getting his account suspended on facebook cyrax would go live with a stream called Banned for 24 hours to announce it and talk about some music project that's going to go nowhere. What is up, what is up, what is up, everybody? So, if you guys don't know by now, um, well, first I want to say I do apologize for those of you that I've not been able to you know reach out to I do apologize but due to these people on the internet that I've been dealing with for the last several years um, I actually am oddly enough banned from talking to any of my friends on Facebook for 24 hours because I supposedly you were supposedly broke their guidelines when I didn't and so, for all y'all, like my buddy Ethan, I know you've been trying to get a hold of me, man. And again, brother, I do apologize, dude. I've not been able to get a hold of you for that reason. Because these people have literally banned me from talking to my friends for 24 hours. So, for those of you that have messaged me and I haven't responded back, I do sincerely apologize, but that's the reason why. I've not been able to message anyone all day, which does suck. Because I know some of you guys have been trying to reach out to me all day long, trying to get a hold of me. Like I said, nothing's wrong. Like for those of you wondering, did you do something wrong? No, you didn't. Facebook has just had me banned for 24 hours. So I can't really, you know, message anyone or do anything, which definitely sucks, you know? And so, like I said, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on so you guys don't freak out. Because I know some of you guys have been trying to, you know, frantically get a hold of me. But just so you guys know, I am good. If anything, I've been actually working on 
a massive project that I've been wanting to do, which is actually going to revolutionize uh, the old saying, you can't play a synth using a guitar, but I'm actually going to be putting that theory to the test. Because I actually have a guitar to USB cord which allows me to turn whatever DAW I'm in into an amplifier for my guitar. And what I'm doing is I'm working on building an effect that will allow me to play the synth as if it's an actual effect. And you know what? That was it. That was stretched out into 20 minutes. The next day, on November 11th, Cyrax would go live on Kick with a stream called The Trolling Truly Needs to Stop, where after a long intro, Cyrax reads out the Wilkins YouTube description. Oh, and he also starts blaming everything on Kate again. What's up, everyone? I am making this live stream because I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys the very real effects and how these people feel about me. Like, I want you guys to see something here. Now, I want you guys to read this whole thing because this is how these trolls, this is how they actually feel about me. This is genuinely what they think. It says, welcome to the Real Wilkins Family Channel, where we invite you to take a walk through the life of Cyrax, which, and then they put my birth name, which is, that is not my name, it is actually Chance Wilkins, which I do plan on changing my last name, with us. He is a cartoon character that we all do not understand, but we will explore the untalented, foul, Demented and disgusting ways of this little man. So tiny rainbow suspenders and hang on. That right there shows what they truly think. These people do not see me as a human being. These people do not see me as a human being.
Here's the thing, I mean, it's kind of hard to ignore this one. I want to ignore it, believe me, I do. But it's hard to ignore when that person is your own former dad. Normally when it comes to trolls, I can ignore them. Like if it's Marty or whatever, yeah, I can ignore that. But this man is the guy that fucking helped my mom raise me. So it's a little bit harder for me to ignore than I would like to. Because believe me, I want to ignore this, but like I said, it's a little bit harder and it's a different circumstance when that own person is your fucking own blood and your own family. Cyrax still tried to lie to us that he worked on a dairy farm and can live off the grid. The man couldn't live on his own if you gave him 10 years to prepare for it. Go off the grid. I wish. But dude, if I went off grid, they'd probably figure out a way to find me that way too. No one them. And I could live off grid. What do you think the 90s were for people like me? Living off the grid. You know, before internet, that's that's what we did. We lived off the grid. I mean, good God, I was raised on a fucking dairy farm half my life, dude. So we lived off grid out in the country. Set up traps and Not a bad idea, actually. Not gonna lie. That's actually not a bad idea. Cyrax then ended that stream announcing another gameplay stream. Hey, y'all. WSMN. Hope you guys don't let the bounce. Cool off from here. Grab something to drink. Chill for a bit. And then come back and do a game with you for you guys and hang out, man. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys do as y'all did. Sorry, no, Sam, man. I love you guys, and I will catch you guys here in just a little bit, man. Peace! But that gameplay stream wouldn't happen because Cyrax would instead upload another video to YouTube called Proving Kate Had No Grounds and Was Committing Entrapment, where Cyrax goes off on the always wonderful Kate. What up, y'all? Y'all know it is. I am here today to expose Kate Peters for the piece of shit that she is and show you guys once and for all that what she did to me can land her in fucking prison and that she's doing all this for the fucking views not because she wanted to do what was right but because she wanted the views because she saw me as an easy fucking target so let's get into this because I'm tired of this bitch getting away with this. Let's do this. Starting off, we're going to play back a little bit of this video where she openly incriminates herself and basically says that Marty hiring her is a good thing. Which wasn't. When answering a question from Kate, if he had ever hired goons, Cyrax said that it's none of her business. Cyrax, you tried to hire goons to blow up her oven while Kate and her kids were in the house. Because I saw the video that Classic Games Canada put out. Why the f would you have Marty's goons come to my house? Well, I mean, I, I, first of all, I didn't really specify what was supposed to happen with the goons. Just that I wanted their services. Now, Strike number one. You did specify what they wanted. We all saw the fucking video, bitch, so fuck you. Cyrax, have you ever employed goons before? 
No, I am not. And even if I did, that's none of your business, you dumb bitch. Do I? <laughs> have, have you ever hired a cook before? What? What'd you say? But honestly, after this, after this shit, I'm seriously thinking about starting, especially after my family being put in danger. Cyrax would then name off all the things he believes that Kate is responsible for before ending the video. Physical, work, pretty much every way you can think of has happened. I've lost jobs, family members have lost jobs, friends have lost jobs, I've been assaulted, my house has been vandalized multiple times, our car has been has been attempted to be stolen three different times via towing. We've had people break into our car and vandalize it. I've had people try to murder me. I've had serious death threats. I have been slandered. I have been defamed. I've had my reputation f***ing tarnished. Therefore, what Kate has done is illegal. And Kate, you can bet your f***ing ass I'm coming for you legally. I am coming to shut your punk ass down and I'm going to show the courts what kind of sick f***ing twisted bitch you really are. So Kate, prepare for war you dumb c by the way, anybody who thinks I'm a f you, you dumb bitches, you clearly don't know the law like you think. We would then get that gaming stream on Kick called COD Warzone and Chill, where surprisingly, he actually plays Call of Duty. What is up, what is up, what is up? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Call of Duty Warzone and Chill, where I'm actually playing, oh man, where I'm actually playing with, as you guys can tell, mouse and keyboard. As you guys can tell, I'm using the Cursor and mouse and keyboard. We about to get it in on some TDM matches here and have some fun. Now this is on Xbox. In case you guys are wondering, this is live on Xbox. Let me make sure I got this guy banned. Yeah, we're good. But I am currently live, like I said, on Xbox, playing some TDM matches, waiting for coffee to get done. So I figured, hey, why not hop on, get some TDMs in, have some fun with you guys. Now, I want you to watch this. Cyrax brags about getting the last kill while also getting five kills and 16 deaths. And your boy got the kill cam. Let's go. After telling the trolls they don't run his life, Cyrax got owned on Xbox. Note, the only reason Rufus stopped talking was because he was put on the enemy team. It's funny that you pathetic little worm trolls think that you run sh but you don't run nothing. Which I find swing. Yo, what up? Whatever, dude. Get the f out of here, you loser. F boy. Hey, why don't you go suck your mom's? F you f you. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You're a fucking. You're a scumbag. You're a nobody without me, dog. If one v one me, then. In one v woman, boy, I'll show you what the fuck's up, you pedo bitch. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. I fucking love it. This dude really thinks he can take me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. This dude thinks he can take my ass. Where's your big talk, big man? Where you at? After that game ended, Rufus would come back on Mike to tell off Cyrax. Also, Cyrax tried to talk tough, getting three kills and 17 deaths. Bro, where is he? Ah, 9196. Dude, get the f out of here, you douche. Hey, why don't you go back and suck your mom's f you? You know, you know what's funny, man? You're funny, you know that? You sure love the sound of your voice, don't you, bro? <laughs> hey, why don't you come over here and make me shut my mouth, bitch, maid? We all know you're all talk. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. After getting 4 kills and 18 deaths, causing his team not to win, Cyrax would end the stream. Oh, it was a draw, okay. We didn't lose and we didn't win, it was a straight f***ing draw. The Ah, right, y'all, I'm gonna take a break for a bit and chill let my hand rest. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back on here in a bit to do some Fortnite show with you guys, man. But uh, to all the trolls that want to run your mouths and try to gain clout, go ahead, man, because we all are acting stupid doing that. So y'all can spark your mouths all you want. I really don't give a shit. But with that being said, man, I love you guys. I'll catch y'all later, man. Hope you guys have a good morning, day, night, wherever you guys are at, man. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. And I'll catch you guys later on. Peace. Then, Gordon the Oracle was proven right because Cyrax would make a video called R.I.P. to the Dad that I Once Knew, where Cyrax holds an online funeral or something. Like, honestly, I don't know what this is. What's up, Facebook? And YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Today is a very sad day. Today, I say goodbye to my dad. Today, I lay to rest the dad that I once knew. The dad that I grew up with, the man that cared for me and loved me, and the man that raised and helped raise me. And the reason I'm saying all this isn't because he's dead, dead, but the man that he joined the trolls, he became dead to me. The minute he decided to join the trolls is the minute that he died. Because all I see when I look at this man is a former show of what he used to be. I see a show of what this man used to be, which is kind caring, loving, respectful, 
He didn't bash on anyone. But now, I don't even know who this man is anymore. I really don't. I don't recognize him. I don't even know who he is anymore. Which is why as of the making of this video, my dad, the one that I grew up with, is unfortunately dead. And it hurts because part of me is dead inside too as a result. But that's okay. I can live with a small part of me being dead. So dad, rest in peace to your former self. Rest in peace to who you used to be. And to this new person on YouTube, I hope you're happy that you killed my dad, Gordon. I hope you're happy that you killed my dad. Because the dad that I once knew would never do this sh that you're doing. The dad that I once knew never did this. The dad I once knew didn't join the trolls but stood with his family. Regardless of whether he followed his family or not, My dad would have never done this. But look at you. Doing it anyways. And that's fine. Because I don't even know you anymore. I don't know you. I don't know who you are. And I want nothing to do with you. So to my dad my dad the one I grew up with may you rest in peace and may your soul fly high rest in peace dad I love you dad and I miss you rest in peace Gordon my dad, Gordon. I will get vengeance for you killing my dad. One way or another, I will avenge the man that I used to know as my dad. I will avenge his death. And I will make sure that you suffer. Because like I said, when I look at you, I don't see my dad. I don't see a human being. I see a monster that killed the dad that I once knew. And for that, you will pay. So to my dad, I say this. Rest in peace. You will truly be missed. 
Oh, okay. Rest in peace. Cyrax seemed to be unable to stay off the internet because then he went and made a video again called Choose Your Battles Wisely, Kate. Since it's two minutes long, we're gonna watch the whole thing. So, apparently, Kate wants to make more videos on me. And to Kate, I say this. Go ahead, bitch. I don't give a f You're just mad because I called you the f out on your bullshit. You fucking c You're mad because I called you out and exposed your bitch ass. And trust me when I say you dumb broad, I have more dirt on you than you do on me, you dumb bitch. And so, I suggest, unless you want me to expose the fuck out of you, and make all your little followers hate you even more than what they already do, I suggest you shut the fuck up. Because right now, I have the upper hand. Right now, if I really want to do, I can expose the fuck out of you for every little single fucking crime that you've ever committed. I've dug into your history. I can dox the fuck out of everything that you've done, all the shit that you've gone to court for, all the shit that you've been charged with. So unless you want me to reveal that shit, I suggest you shut the fuck up because the minute that I reveal that shit, you dumb bitch. All your little followers and all your fan base. Bye bye. So I suggest you dumb. You lay on your back. You keep taking the dick like a good. And you shut the fuck up. Okay? Because like I said, you can make videos about me all you want. I give no. Fucks. It don't make no difference to me, bitch. It don't make a difference to me, you dumb. There's a reason why you're the most hated person on the internet. Because you're an attention. You'll do anything extreme for fucking views. You don't give a f whether it's hurting someone, ruining their life, or whatever. You don't give a f You don't care. Because you're a greedy, dumb bitch. You're a money-hungry fucking broad. Who is using people to get money and attention. Because you're a fucking Karen. That's all you are. You're the internet's biggest fucking Karen. So Kate, you want to go to war? Bring it, bitch. Because I have more on you than you will ever have on me. So you really want to go to war? I will have no problem destroying you in less than 10 minutes. So, up to you. You want to make a video on me? Or do you want to sit down and shut up like a good bitch? The choice is yours. Then, Cyrax would do his worst gaming stream yet. Nike JRPG gameplay, where he plays something that looks stupid AF. What is up, what is up, what is up? Good afternoon, good evening everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing Goddess of Victory Nikkei. Um, I just came across this game today actually. So I did do a playthrough already on my own time. I did some gameplay like I said. Um, I got through the prologue on my own time, and dude, just from what I played of the prologue, I'm loving this game so far, dude. Like, I'm super excited to jump into this with you guys, hang out, have a little fun, drink on my nice hot cup of coffee here that I've had since, like, noon that's still f***ing piping hot. Mm. Oh, that's hot. Dude, you guys ever want a cheap mug from a convenience store that keeps your stuff hot? And grab one of these from Sheets, man. These things work so f***ing well. I actually made this coffee around noon, and it's still hot. So if you want a cheap cup that keeps your mugs warm, hit up Sheets, man. Grab you one of these. I'm not going to lie to you. I stopped watching that 11 minutes in. I can only watch so many anime girls shooting whatever so long, and that was my limit. 
But then we would get another stream from everyone's favorite adoptive parents called Happy Veterans Day Fireside Chat with Papa G and Jenny. Hey guys. Happy Veterans Day, Rax Nation. Hope everybody's having a, a peaceful and safe and wonderful Veterans Amen. Day weekend. Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to continue to play that song. Oh, that's a good damn song for today. How's everybody doing? Hi, hi, Squishy Socks. Hi. Oh, Richard the Terrible asked what we were drinking tonight. Richard the Terrible asked what we were drinking tonight. Well, I have a pina colada. And Gordy, you have a beer, right? I got a beer. Yeah. So. And dude, we rolled a little green to, you know. Kick off, kick, kick off the weekend. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, God. We Hope everybody's safe. About Hope today. everybody's safe. Both Gordon and Jenny would then talk about the R.I.P. to the dad I used to know video that we saw earlier. Everybody by now, you've all seen the video of our favorite talking about how rest in peace, Gordon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we saw, I saw that this morning, man. I mean, can you imagine though, waking up, man, the first thing you see on your TV when you're clicking on this Cyrax scratching his scabs, man, yeah, it, and looking at him, and it's yeah. like, oh, damn, man, I ain't got no damn coffee in me yet, and you want to start throwing that shit. Well, I mean, I think everybody needs a daily dose, especially when you first wake up. <laughs> I, I did that on purpose. I scratched my head on purpose. <laughs> oh. uh, that that was entertaining. That because he was super dramatic. He, oh, he yeah. went he went full board. He was committed to it. I tell you what, man, I feel pretty good though for being dead. I know, and you look fantastic <laughs> for being it's dead. I, even I know, man, for being dead, I, man. Yeah. I'm doing good. I know, right? I was like, shit, did somebody, did somebody not tell yeah, me something? I'm doing better than I was alive. Because I've seen that before. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I've seen that video before. <laughs> before you did, and I thought, Jesus Christ, did he die in his sleep? You know? Did you have to come in and check my pulse? Yes, shit this I morning? was like, <laughs> you know, did somebody know something put, I don't? Put the fucking pulse ox on my finger. Right? Right? It was, it was bullshit. It was straight up bullshit. And he's sitting there with those non-crocodile tears. I mean, <laughs> you're reaching. You're reaching, son. You're reaching. I mean, this is habitual. <laughs> we have watched so many other Thank videos. Thank you, Free the People. Yes, Gordon looking better than Cyrax. Yeah, I know, pretty right? much, man. Right? <laughs> Thank and you. about twice his size. And I'm not even trying to. That's the best part of it, man. You know? Yeah, I mean, we're lucky to, we're lucky to oh, see yeah. you, Mr. Wilkins. It's a good day to I, see you, Mr. Know, Wilkins. And thank you all for having us into your homes and your vehicles, yeah. wherever you're wherever you're listening to us from, man. If I just you're can't in your imagine. Vehicle, if you're in your vehicle, man, please be careful, man. You know, yeah. I mean. Yeah. But I'm really interested to know where want. everybody's actually viewing yeah. from. Yeah, yeah, we thought we talked about that yesterday. Yeah, man. everybody, right. when you text or whatever, throw up a text and tell us where you're from, man. What state, yeah. country, whatever. You ain't got a doctor an address just let me know what state no, you're coming what from, state man. you're at okay What's las vegas on? cool eight man I like Vegas. awesome man. awesome we were just oh, yeah. there twice this year oh wow zephyr hills okay. oh, cool. okay. hell yeah dude <laughs> you're a homie <laughs> you vancouver homie. island port ritchie okay, okay. yeah we used, used to live in port ritchie there. man louisiana uh oh yeah hell yeah damn that's cool ohio there you go Hell yeah. North Carolina, Absolutely. Oregon, Jersey. Yeah, and it's cool, man, that, that one one tard, man, can can pull everybody together uh for the uh you know for a common cause. And you know, if we can we can narrow it down, if we can get everybody from every state, we will be the new all Americans. Then Jenny called out Sally for writing bad checks when she was with Gordon. Oh yeah, and and I I will certainly put some names on his uh, grandmother slash. And guess what? Switch. I ain't dead, motherfucker. <laughs> Nobody questioned that. Nobody. But as far as you know, throwing, <laughs> throwing around the language, uh, I I need him to have a serious reality check, and I need him to find out exactly how many bad checks she wrote. That's what I need him to go ask her. And who yeah. ended up having to pay for them? Yeah. And who got called out by the army because she ran around town 
writing bad checks. That would be Gordon. Is that true or not? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> what happened? But it wasn't all over town. She was writing with the commissary. Okay. Right? Close enough. Yeah. And my boss at the time, you know, was my best friend. And I got called on the carpet. I got I called on to, uh, I got called on to his carpet. And he's like, dude, you got to do something, man, man. She's writing these checks, man. You're going to ask them to get hot water quick. Right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I had to go, I had to go to the class, man. And I didn't even write the checks. <laughs> and, and that's the entertaining yeah. part about that. So that, like... that was also part of the beginning of the end. <clears throat> I remember you telling me that story. You know, and I don't know why I was just happy to shit. think about it today when, you know, when I was watching his non somber, crazy, uh, not being pathetic, able to manage money, man. Pathetic you know? advantage to try to get somebody to feel sorry for him again. I thought, you know what? You need to face it. Some reality is going on up in your house. And here they are. You know, if he wants to claim that he's at a three, four year old mental level, he doesn't claim it, but we all know it. Um, <laughs> you know, take it for what it's worth. If he can throw out the verbiage that he throws out, well, well that's just, that just that's just a that's just a real fucking ignorant mind trying to express itself, man. That's all that is. Jenny would talk about how she feels bad for Karen since she's the one that's going to have to end up dealing with all the damage that Cyrus has done to the home. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just a smaller version of Willard. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> they just eat you fucking slower. You know who I feel really bad for is the woman who owns that house. Oh yeah, their landlord. Oh my yeah. god. And it, you know, and and it just appalls me, man, because I'll sit there and look You're at his. You're absolutely right, Deuce. You know, I look at look at his videos, and I can see where he's punched holes in the walls, and you know, the fucking closet doors are fucked up and everything. You know, you don't own that house, dude. Yeah, I don't mean, be doing that to somebody else's fucking structure. You don't own dick. So you own. That's it, right. man. Everything's mortgage. Yeah, you um, own a fucking thing, man. But when something happens to Sally, obviously he's going to have to boot and boogie down the street. He's going to have to do something. But when he boots skates and boogies, he's going to have to find somebody who pays bills for him because he don't know how. But that poor lady has to go in there. And oh yeah, she's going to have to repair her house. Man. And you know what? And, and I know there's been oh, that's people. Terrible. And you know, I know there's been people that went up there and egged the house and shit like that. You and know? you know that's not I, true. I don't. Well, if it is true, I don't condone it. That's okay? not true. I don't condone it. Uh, don't be doing shit to that house to damage that house in any way, because they don't own that house. There's a, a landlord or a lady or whoever th uh, that owns that place. Okay, so don't don't jack up her property, man, just because this little peckerhead is living inside there. No, you know? this poor so. bandit didn't stand a chance. Poor <laughs> bandit, yeah, he'd been, yeah. <laughs> mm. You know, and that makes me worry because I have two dogs, and at the time I had one. Yeah. And after this all came about, I asked him. I said, "Do you think that it's possible that Chance screwed with my dog?" Because if, if he had, uh, that that's absolute reason for me to make a special trip. Luke said, "Oh, something with Sally." Uh, right da, da, da. Luke said, "When Sally is unable to take care of him anymore, or she's gone, he'll go on his Daniel Larson homeless arc." Yeah, yeah, I guarantee yeah. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen eventually. Eventually, you're going to see him on Skid Row, man. Oh, wow. Will Chandler <laughs> said it's Craigslist free stuff. Nobody is stealing anything. Hmm? Yeah, people Yeah, people are stealing their furniture, and <laughs> I, I wouldn't put that in my house. No way. That's crazy. Do what? D to put it in our house? What? Somebody should? Yeah. No, hell no. Especially in, when you know the house that's behind it, you know? No. Uh -uh. Would you take something from off the curb at their house? No. I would kill you. No. I, would, like, you I, wouldn't, put it in, I wouldn't put it in my car, man. I'd drag you behind it. I'd hook you I up wouldn't to the put bunker. it in my car. Hell no. You're like, here, go ahead and have some Hell no. Kind of poppy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a ride. Uh, yeah, I heard uh, her be that landlord's her best friend. Yeah, it could I, be. I don't think that's going to be true after she sees the inside of that house. Well, she's probably already seen it, but, you know. That's got to be sad for her. She's I, obviously she's got a soft heart, or she wouldn't be doing it. Okay, there's that's there's, how I got to look at it. There's you know? a thin line between smartass and dumbass. I know, and she but that's how it. yeah, but that's how I got to be. I got to be a pessimist on that one. 
she just got a big heart and she hasn't learned yet that you know she's taking a lick and they keep on ticking man. I don't know. yeah i mean she better have to christ that sally lives wow. to be like 90. Uh, she better man can you imagine trying to get him out of that house that'd now, be like trying to get david now, larson out of mcdonald's and right shit. you know david oh. buster is where he got right? banned from everywhere man oh my um, god danny darko some of the furniture was auctioned off in cbg discord channel lol I couldn't afford it. It was so expensive. That's funny. That's rich. Tony, no. Uh, we have, neither one of us have children. We have no children of our own. No, no, no. No. Don't want none. We're, well, we didn't want any, but no. Jesus Christ. Now we, well, we had to adopt all you first. <laughs> well, I, I'd rather adopt it than actually go through the pain of it. Yeah, exactly. You know? I hear you. I, I just rather yeah, adopt. You. You so, know. I'll, I'll take 2500 <laughs> over one child any day. You know, because um, I guarantee you all of them know how to go to the bathroom on their own. So oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. As long as you're I'm sure all trained, of them I'm good. Can, I'm sure all of them can shop for themselves. Right. <laughs> Work a microwave. But that was so funny. Uh, you know, I, I and the remarks that I was getting were so on point. You know, he was 23. Yeah. But he said that we left him. This is what I caught yesterday or this morning. That we left him in the house with nothing to eat. Okay. The problem with that statement is... I never left him in my house un alone. No, that ain't what he said. Yes, he did. No, what he said was, he said, I, all I found in your in your refrigerator were two beers and a half-eaten sandwich when I was looking for something to eat. Right. He never looked for a thing to That's eat in this house point. because he was Jen never was alone. always here with him. Exactly. He was never left alone in this fucking house. I no, no, Freddy Krueger, Dahmer, all of them up in here. They both then talked about how they knew Cyrus is going to do a pity stream when Gordon dies and that they weren't going to stand for it. Yeah, uh, Chance will probably also say that Jen took everything that Gordon left him. Oh, yeah, that's coming, Tony. That is so coming. I, I know it is. And no. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's he's going to go on a rampage. My father has died. Jen, the homewrecker. Oh, she yeah. took everything he that I me, know he, he left, left me. me all kind of money, but she won't let me have it. That fucking bitch. Oh, yeah. You, you, oh, you, yeah. you, oh, you bitch. She's a hog wrecker. You fucking whore bitch. Oh, yeah. I can hear it. I can <laughs> just fucking hear it. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to write him a nice little note. You get nothing, bitch. <laughs> bitch. I need to hold my funeral about three days before I die so I get to see all this I shit. Right. Before I actually do die. Because we're going to have a good time. We are going to have a blast. Have my week before I die. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think that's a fabulous idea. I, you know, I've heard of people doing that, actually. And I can't remember where I heard that. Uh. But yeah, why not? Let's have a week before you kick um. the bucket on me. Oh, oh wait a minute. have a stroke out. Uh. Uh, we're going to invite everybody to the wake. Enigma Natal, you know, I, I man, I, say that to Enigma, you man, that's all I can say, dude, right. man, I'm stoned, I got caught in my mouth, I can't pronounce your name, brother, but it says, uh, Papa G, have any song requests for the in inevitable memorial concert? I oh, am. yeah. I'm going to get something to drink. Yeah, I got a few, man, you know. What's your first choice? Uh, Kid Rock, you never met a motherfucker quite like me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Brentley Gilbert, bear me upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want. I wanted to play Guns and Roses. You know, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. I wanted to play Half Your Age and Twice as Hot. Oh yeah, day. another one by Kid Rock. Twice your age and twice as or half your age and twice as hot. So yeah. <laughs> well, that stream ended a little abruptly, so we're gonna skip the rest of it. And you know what? That's it for this one too. We've still got one more part left, and then that's it. As always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon. But wait, what's this? I've been putting this off for too long. At some point, I have to realize I just can't say I had a virus and not show up to every dinner. Hey, Dunham, What's up? Just here for the family dinner. Am I early? I don't see any other cars in the driveway. Nah, man. They all caught Brain and couldn't make it. Those idiots! Brain hasn't been able to infect a computer since, like, 1987. Is it too late for me to fake having something, too? Come on in. So, do you have, like, a TV or something? Nah, man. I don't believe in all that electronic stuff. You know what I mean? No, I don't. We are that stuff.
Do you do anything around here besides just sitting in a beanbag chair all day? No. We've all gotten caught up in situations like this before, which is why now I never leave my home without a couple of decks of my LolCow trading card game cards anymore. Even if you don't have an interest in playing the game, they make for some great collectibles for both cows and YouTubers that normally wouldn't have any. Not to mention, these things sell out fast. So if you're interested in getting some of these limited edition holiday cards, or even a Cobes vs. Cyrax shirt, both of which I've purchased myself, click on my affiliate link down below and check it out.